thing is, I'm going to start learning the language. And I have to say, I tried a couple of things and they didn't work out. And as an, if you're a beginner and you try to learn Vietnamese, there are some things that you need to consider. Thing is, I'm not saying I'm an expert, expert or anything. Thing is, when you start, a lot of people offer their help, but the problem is, um, for me, this is for me in the case, uh, the problem is, it's not helping your learning. And I think I need to put my own effort and try to find out my way of learning this language. Because if I look at other language and if I try to learn them, it's easy to make some connection with my mother language. If you know, I already speak four language, and the thing is, I'm starting out to learn an Asia, a language in, the, uh, in Asia. And this one is a little bit difficult. I will tell you another video why I found this difficult, but if you're a beginner and you try to learn this language, try to get a material that works for you. You will see another video, I will tell you how I try to use app, and if it works or if it didn't work, I will try to use YouTube if it worked or it didn't work. Yeah, as a beginner, there are a lot of options out there, but you need to figure out what works for you. So for me, I will make some videos, what works for me and what I think can work for you. And if it works for you, fine, use it. If it doesn't work for you, don't use it. As a beginner, sometimes it's hard to find things. For example, I was on Facebook and I joined a group and yeah, the people, they, they have good intention by making the group and in the group you can meet people, you can practice English. But everybody has his own agenda and I don't really like that. So uh, well, my experience with that is I put something on the group. I told them, hey, listen, I'm trying to learn the language and can you guys admi advise me? What can I do? What's the best option to start learning the language? And some people start offering the service. I know they need to earn money to, um, yeah, to pay rent or anything for their life. It doesn't matter to me. But they're offering the service. Some people meant well. They can say like exchange language. Yes, I can also understand that. But it doesn't help me. It doesn't help me. They're not saying, hey, if you start here, this will work. If you start there, this will work. One thing, when well, someone made a comment, start with the alphabet. And I really like that because when you start with the alphabet, you start to understand why uh, why people pronounce some word differently. So I'm gonna start with the alphabet and then I'm gonna to make videos how I start learning to count one to 10, one to 100, one to 1,000, one to 10, one 10,000, million, maybe a million. I will make a separate video about that. But for now, if you're a beginner, start with the alphabet. That's my advice to you, because when you start with the alphabet, I'll make a video about how you can do that. But if you start with the alphabet, it's going to be easy to understand some things and why they pronounce things differently. So that's my tip. And uh, another tip is try to listen a lot of Vietnamese. So if you have questions about other things in this video, feel free to contact me. I will see you in another video about learning Vietnamese.